Hello friends, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and uh, here I am again with a new video of Jenkins. And in this video I am going to demonstrate you how can we use our plugins within Jenkins. As those who are aware of R programming, they know that R is a statistical programming language. And uh, we can perform a lot of things by using R. We can perform calculations and aggregation functions in R. And based on that, we can visualize that data. We have data frames within R. We have uh, arrays within R. And by using them, we can visualize the data. We can plot the data in various graphs, whether it's a line graph or a bar chart or any other graph. So I'm going to perform the same thing in Jenkins as well. Let's suppose I have got a data which I have been extracted from a data set which resides on my uh, repository and my GIT repository. So by with the help of Jenkins, I'm going to interact with that repository and from that repository, the data which I which will be going to extract that data will be passed into uh, R and then it will be plot in the form of a in various graphs or various charts so here I'm going to explain you how can we first of all how can we add the R plugins into Jenkins and how can we use that plugin so how can we create a job by using that plugin so for that I quickly switch to my virtual machine where I have already configured Jenkins and in the here first the very first thing we'll be requiring is we need to add our plugins so to add our plugins i click on manage jenkins click on this link manage jenkins then manage plugins and from here first of all you can check whether the r plugin has already been installed in your environment or not so i click on install and I look for our plugin so you can see nowhere our plugin has been installed so it does not satisfy it with my operating system right now with my environment right now so I'm, we need to set up we need to uh, add that plugin so I click on av available and in available it comes under this our plugin falls under build criteria build section so I scroll down to build this artifact and we are in build notifiers so you can see here we have got our plugin we found this our plugin this falls under build tool because our sub build tool so it's a simple plugin to invoke our interpreter and execute an R script but before adding this plugin to the environment you need to install our studio or our environment in your op in your operating system so i have got both r and r studio so i have already installed i have already set up r in my environment and now i can quickly click on this plugin and say download and install without restart or download now and install after restart so I click on first option, the install without restart. So it will start downloading our plugin without restarting the environment. So as you can see here, the installation has been done successfully. That's the issue, something regarding my proxy. So I have already sorted out this issue. I just refresh, I just update my Jenkins and uh, I just restried installing again. And you can see the R plugin has been added successfully. And once it is satisfied, I get back to Jenkins dashboard. Jenkins. And I click on create new job. So I click on create new job. Give a name via SP test job. It's a, it would be a freestyle project. Okay. And here under build, I'll say a build step. So you can see once R has been configured successfully, you will be getting this option in this drop down menu. In this add build step menu, you will be getting this execute R script. 
without installing R plugin and R on your environment, you will not get this option. So if you are getting this option, it means R plugin has successfully configured within your environment. So I'm going to select this execute R script. And here I need to add the script. If you want to know, if you want to know more about this plugin, you can click on this. So it says run an R script to build the project. The script will be run with the workspace as the current directory. So I'm going to add my script here. So let's start with a simple script first. So I create cars and I create uh, one, one, three, six, eight, three, ten. And simply I write here plot cars. So the same command if we pass in our studio, let's have a look so I open our studio and I simply pass the same command cars and plot cars so open our studio I create cars C let me copy this I simply copy both the commands and paste in my R studio and when we run them you can see the plot has been done so the same kind of output will be getting in our Jenkins so I simply save it and now I'm going to run it so I click on build project and you can see the project has been built successfully and it turns into green it means the operation has been done successfully so I want to see the output so I click on console output so we'll be getting it the output has been built into workspace because it will be appears in PDF format so it already the out uh, the output has been done the output has been stored in a PDF format so simply I just wanted to see the success message so I get back to the project and here I click on workspace in workspace I'm getting our plots dot PDF so I click on our plots dot PDF and we can see the output here so you can see that's the output which has been created after we executed that script so if you want to do some more modifications we can do that so what i'm doing is i have i have a big code to explain it so that we can have multiple access into it so you can see i have created multiple access one for car one for trucks and then i set a range here so range will be from zero and it will be go up to cars and trucks so it will plot cars in type O color is blue access will be 1 at 1 is to 5 and the label will be Monday Tuesday up to Friday access 2 we have and that's the range it will create a box around that then I add a second line second plot will be as O and it colors in red so that's the code and I simple and also we have added a legend we have added a legend which will indicate that this particular line or which plot represents what data so I save it build now so the build has been done successfully again I click on workspace workspace we have our plots dot PDF and when I open our plots dot PDF we have this kind of structure and also we have an option here we can download this we can download this as a PDF format so I download on my desktop on my system and I'm going to open it so I expand it our plots dot PDF and we have this in PDF format so we can quickly share this with other users as well so so as an end result we can simply plot the data into various charts so that's how we can use our plugins from Jenkins and we can visualize the data by using the graphs and charts which are available within R. That's all in this video. If you like this video, don't forget to press like button or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Jenkins. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.